Hello everyone, I'm coming to you from the Chicago area on my little vacation -y sort of thing. And I'm trying a beer that I was excited to find out about this brewery when I was researching for my trip, finding all the beers that I should get. Um, they're called Weiner Beer Company and they only make cans of sour and wild beers, six pack cans at reasonable prices and they're a brand new brewery. They've only been around for like six months and they're in some cool zero carbon emissions co-op building place in Chicago that I heard about. Um, and they have all their beers are like lactobacillus or retinomyces types that are often dry hopped. And I have no idea how fresh this one is, but this is Le Tube. Oh, they say wild farmhouse ale. And this one has saison yeast, but also Lactobacillus, no Brettanomyces in this one apparently, and it's 10% barrel aged, which is cool, you rarely see that in a can, and it has Centennial and Amarillo hops, I think it might even be dry hopped. Um, there's no marking anywhere in the can saying how fresh it is, but it was added on untapped a little over two months ago, so it's probably still pretty fresh, um, and it's feeling extremely carbonated, it's very tight down there. But in 6.6% 6 .6 alcohol, and I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to get my hands on some of their beer, because it seems like a really cool brewery, one of the brewer types of breweries that is finally getting out there doing only sort of wild and sour beers, putting them in cans and at reasonable prices, and I guess probably figuring out how to do that and make it their main thing and do it consistently. Hopefully this is the future, because this, this is my favorite kind of beers, and... They're just too rare and expensive still, in my opinion. This one has pretty good ratings, but not too many people have checked it in, like a thousand, so it's still a pretty rare brewery. And yep, looks like it's sour, plenty of head there. A light haze, no chunks or anything. I'm smelling some tartness already. And I uh, have some weird glassware here, but at least I was able to clean it well. But it looks like uh, pretty much like a tart saison. Um, yeah, they got plenty of head happening. I'm surprised how it's sticking around so well, because I'm smelling the sourness already. Oh, yeah. It has, I think it has almost a funky thing going on, but I think it's just from their saison yeast. It's got some pear, it's got some musky, woodier notes in there too. Very light clove, more of a pepper. And yeah, it doesn't smell actually too sour. It's starting to die down there. And I can't... Oh yeah, there's some teeny teeny little particulates in there. And I don't... I guess I'm getting a little bit of a... Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a... A citrusy, orangey aroma on the edge of grapefruit probably from the mixture of the of the yeast bacteria and the American hops in there it smells very fresh though in my opinion oh yeah only slightly tart a really really nice kind of traditional saison flavor uh, very I guess subtle saison not not anywhere near bubblegum banana. It's more, much more pear-y, but not like just apple cider. What I get from some saisons that it's like, oh, I don't want to be drinking a beer that just tastes like cider. And so, yeah, very light on the lactobacillus, which I'm enjoying quite a bit because a lot of times people, breweries like to throw in lactobacillus and it just turns into really tart lemonade. That's the main flavor with this. It's not too much. It's got a lot of a white, juicy white grape white wine notes to it. Not super dry, but very refreshing. And very low in the bitterness, though. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. There's a, now I'm getting a little bit more of a juicy fruit flavor in the finish, but it's, it's, it's a pretty darn good beer. Maybe it's a slightly too apple-y. Eventually, maybe I'll get a little bit too much apple acetaldehyde or something like that. And 
not getting any big amounts of booze or um, too much solventy over over crazy fermented uh, saison yeast. You have only a teeny bit of heat. I'm noticing in the back of the throat right now for 6.6% 6 .6 alcohol. And it's pretty good. It's and I'm not maybe there's a s little tinge of whiny oaky tannins in there, but not too strong. It's it's really good if it's but it's definitely not uh I don't think it's can conditioned or anything. They probably try to kill the bugs in their beers so that the cans don't, you know, pop open or pop get convex on the bottom. But it actually reminds me quite a bit of some of the Hill Farmstead Saisons I've been reviewing. It's not quite as sour as those ones, actually. Um, but it's really it's really nice and at a reasonable price. This is this is exactly what I was hoping it would be. It's it's not it's not hitting it out of the ballpark, but they've only been making this beer for a couple months, so maybe they could get a little bit better. Maybe it's a little better when it's fresher and I can notice the hops more. But the hops definitely do pull it to a juicier orangey not quite grapefruit, not quite super lemony world, but it's it's very nice. It's it's pretty um, astringent, I would say, in the feel without, it's like the astringency is how I describe bitterness that's not exactly hot bitterness, nor like tannins. Um, but it's got a really f kind of full fluffy body from all that carbonation, though it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not like a luxuriously fluffy sort of feeling. The astringency still makes it kind of bite and be a little, a little bit sharp, but not too sharp at all. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a grainy, fluffy feel. And then it finishes with a good amount of a Saison sort of tang. It's almost, it's a juicy fruit. It almost, it's just an orange, like you're actually drinking like Sunny D or that powdered tang drink. I get a little bit of that. Touch of Smarties, not not quite sweet tart. Maybe it's a teeny bit of sweet tart, but more of a Smarties sort of flavor. Um... Yeah, it's not a masterpiece of a beer, but it's it's really well done. Yeah, I would probably give it like an 80. It's very pleasant to drink, and it's the first time I've ever had something like this um, come in this, this packaging and price range. I'm, yeah, I'm really happy the wine is around. I don't know of many other breweries who are like them that are trying to take these fancier, more complicated styles and make them just a more, in a more casual, um, for the presentation and packaging. And I'm all happy. I'm totally for that. I have their other beer, their dry hopped, uh, Brett, Brett Nemeisi's fermented beer to guard that I'm excited about trying too, which is, it's a little bit dark, dark, but, um, I really think it's going to be another probably pretty good beer. These both have like 3.7, 3.8 on untapped. Which uh, is not too bad. They're really doing making these beers with a steady hand. They're not making them too, too crazy, um, which maybe some people would want. But it's there's really nothing wrong with this. The apple isn't too much, but the overall flavor is kind of an appley, juicy fruit with a little bit of pear and a good amount of a sort of mandarin orange fruitiness. And the spices really spice and phenols are really um, subdued in this beer. I think that makes it work for it because it's so dry and just slightly tart. It doesn't need too, mi too much uh, clove going on. And I'll give it like an 80, 80, 81 or something. 17 bags of popcorn. I highly recommend this for anyone who likes slightly tart beers, Saisons, Hill Farmstead style Saisons, um, in the Chicago area. Support this brewery. Get them, get them better now. Get them doing more. I don't want I don't want this brewery to close. I want people to hear about it and I want breweries to start doing what they're doing. Um, cuz this is the kind of beer that I want to expose everyone to and and drink myself more often. So, goodbye.